Our report reveals a number of gaps that highly contribute to the poor performance. The young woman named P. Grace Kauda is reported to have developed complications with her pregnancy last night. She was taken to case hospital in Kampara, but later transferred to Kawempe extension of Mulago Hospital, where she was pronounced dead. As Parliament of Uganda, we want to confirm the death of Honorable Kauda Hylat. She passed on last night. The legislator succumbed to plain sclapsia, a pregnancy complication characterized by high pressure. The disease was serving a first term in parliament after replacing Igang MP Olivia Kabari Kwagara. Summary it is the natural causes because she was high blood pressure and uh, she was pregnant, five months pregnant, and uh, the pathologist has given a report in two weeks to be out. Kauda's body was transferred to KCC Mochali this morning for postmortem. Her body was later taken to a plasma home inside Mengo Hospital. <laughs> Afghan legislators described her as a vibrant young leader who loved to serve our country. Very energetic young legislator who has been serving her people without reservation. She has been very brilliant and she has always put service above self. Uh, Parliament is taking charge of all the expenses and the other members are also contributing as the colleagues. <laughs> Locals at her constituency were in a sad mood after getting news of a sudden death of their leader. Chitalo tofiriru wa mubaka, omushala, nga mwana moto ayo nga mwuntu mulamu. Nga ina chine nenu cha chusi za kukulago mkule mbezi, akola ki elabati. At that time between 9 and 10 a.m. yesterday, uh, which was Friday, mami was talking to her and she was in a house normal life. She not even complain about things for a while. Parliament Assistant Director of Media Relations, Rene Ismail, told us about the barrier arrangements. Uh, after the body will come from the city mortuary, we are taking it to the funeral home, and thereafter we shall proceed to Iganga district, where, uh, where the burial will take place tomorrow. And Ivan Chimuchigozi, NTV.